Hello my Pokepadawans, Jedi Carded here, bringing you a brand new Pokemon Showdown Session. Today, we will be venturing into RU. We've been in RU before, and we're back in RU again, but with a different team. And as you can see, from the beautiful layout that surrounds the screen, uh, I actually sat down and made this myself, I was quite impressed. And it took only took me about an hour. So... Yeah, we are coming into RU with a brand new team. I wanted to use Mega Glalie, and it turns out that it's only RU, which is cool because it's a lower tier, and I like the lower tiers, because that means I don't have to put it with Togekiss. So, let me introduce to you our team. Of course, starting off, we have the star of the show, Snowdoom, the Mega Glalie with Ice Sharp, Double Edge, uh, Iron Head, and Earthquake. No, we don't have Explosion. Because I wanted to show that Mega Glade can be used for more than just blowing itself up. It has just as much special attack as it has physical. Uh, 120 base attack and special attack, which a lot of people notice is real. It also gets freeze dry. It's got a very good special move pool as well. Uh, I know it gets freeze dry, I think it gets dark pulse. Um, I believe it also gets extra sensory. So it's got a pretty good special move pool, but for this particular endeavor, I've decided to go physical because Mega Glalie has a much better use of its glaciate ability in the form of double edge. It doesn't really have anything on the special side to match double edge in power. I mean, I think it might get access to secret power, which is a base 70 special attack. And unless elemental terrain moves are, are off like grassy terrain, missing terrain and electric terrain, uh, it's usually a normal move, which gets changed to a ice move by the glacier. So it becomes a bow comes like a base 90 attack instead. But Double Edge is a lot more powerful. Double Edge is what? Base 120. Yes, it has the recoil, but I'd rather have the recoil of Double Edge than just the straight out Oko of Explosion. Uh, Ice Shard obviously for priority. Iron Head is for rock types and other things. Fairies, possibly. Uh, there's something else that hits as well, I'm sure there is. Ice. Oh yeah, it hits other ice types. Well done. Well done, Jedi. And Earthquake for fire types, steel types. So it pretty much covers most of its weaknesses. The only thing it hasn't really got any coverage against is fighting. But hopefully, I have amended that in the form of... Uh, well, we'll get to that. Next on the team is Punchy, the Hitmonchan. Because I kind of feel bad for Hitman Chan, it hardly gets used. You see a lot of Hitman Lees, and Hitman Top is a very, very versatile Pokemon. It gets a lot of use in pretty much every tier, to be honest. It's a great spinner. Uh, it's quite powerful in its own way as well. I do it as a technician. Uh, but yeah, Hitman Chan with the Iron Fist. I gave it a Silk Vest because Hitman Chan has actually got a very impressive special defense stat of 110. So, we've got a little bit of HP investment, 56, maximum attack investment, and 200 in speed. So, we're kind of a Assault Vesty attacker. Um, I mean, I'm not expecting it to sponge the hit greatly, but we'll see what it can do. Oh, uh, Snowdoom's stats are 252 attack, 252 speed, with a jolly nature. We've got 4 in defense. Just for kids and giggles. Uh, next on the roster is Fat Bat, the Golbat. Obviously, with that Eevee alive, we've got Defog, Bruce, Super Fang, and Toxic. This is basically a special wall. Uh, it's also our main counter to fighting types. You can't really do much to hit them back. I mean, it can Super Fang Toxic, which is a nice little combo in its own way. It can root off any damage it needs to. And it can defog away any hazards, which we kind of need because at least two of our Pokemon on our team are actually weak to Stealth Rocks. Next on our team is Dusk. 
the Houndoom because it's one of my team guys and I was in RU and I can't pass up an opportunity to use Houndoom now can I? I have a very very interesting new set for her as well. Um, Life Orb. Uh, this should actually be Flash Fire. I don't know why it's early bird. Flash Fire, we have Sucker Punch, Flamethrower, Dark Pulse and Destiny Bond. Because Houndoom is a very, very fast Pokemon with base 95 speed. So, with the maximum speed investment and the speed positive nature, uh, that means it can get off as fast a Destiny Bond as it needs to. Which means anything that's not faster than it, uh, which I think in RU is basically anything Scar or anything with priority. Um, but yeah, anything else that wants to try and KO it, we'll get a Destiny one first, and Houndoom will take them down with it. Uh, apologise for looking over that way. There are ferries just over there, just down the road from me. I, I, I live quite close to the sea, and they are tooting their horns at 3 a.m. Yes, I'm recording at 3 a.m. because I'm nuts. Let's just go with it. Uh, so, Hasty Nature. Max special attack, max speed, and four in attack for the sucker punch. Uh, we have minus defense nature because Houndoom doesn't really like to take hits anyway, so it doesn't really make much difference. Next on the team is our physical wall. Who else but Quagsire? Huh? We have the leftovers, water absorb, so we can switch in on those water hits, which uh, Houndoom does not want to be taking. Uh, ordinarily Quagsire wouldn't particularly enjoy them either because they are neutral and we've only got base 65 special defense so that's going to be handy we've got the skull, recover, yawn and earth power now I'm not quite sure about the earth power uh, unfortunately I don't believe that Quagsire can learn stealth rock no it can't so earth power is there for basically electric types basically uh, as I said, it's a physical tank, 252 HP, 252 defense, and it has four investment in special attack just for that electric kick. But it's not there to deal damage, it's just there to block physical hits, to be honest. Uh, we've got Yawn, is to phase out anything else that wants to try and set up on us. And because we don't we don't get whirlwind, we don't get raw, we don't get anything like that. I mean, Hound Doom gets raw. Um, Golbat possibly gets whirlwind, but Golbat has already got a full utility belt, and so is Houndoom to be fair. So we don't really have uh, we don't have, really have move, uh, move room for any actual phasing moves. So we'll just do what we can with Yawn. Yawn, Yawn actually does a pretty well. Uh, next on the team, I uh, I kind of got to the last start, and I was kind of looking at the team, thinking, what do I need? And there wasn't really anything that stood out to me. I mean, I can't really see any major weakness. There is a double psychic weakness in Golbat and Hitmachan, but then we have Houndoom, and now we also have Lipard. Lipard is a tricksy, tricksy prankster Pokémon. We have Choice Scarf so that we can trick the Scarf onto things that don't particularly want to be choiced. Mostly, that would be utility Pokémon or Pokémon I want to set up. Um, because there are quite a few of those. So if any Pokemon comes in and wants to start setting up, we could just trick the Choice Scarf onto them and then they're locked into their setup move. We also have Knock Off to get rid of items if we need to. Foul Play, which is great if anything wants to set up its attack power. And we also have Play Rock because Spiritomb is a thing in this tier. And actually Houndoom is quite common as well. So also on top of that we didn't have a count we didn't have anything to really hit fighting types. So we've got play rough on light card, we've got maximum attack investment, and we've got maximum speed with the prankster. I know what you're thinking, it's got choice scar, it's prankster, why have we got maximum speed? Because it's not the idea is not for it to keep the choice scar. And uh, so that way we can still be fast even without it because only one of our moves takes advantage of the prankster 
so it still makes sense to have all of that speed investment with the attack as well and it has actually managed to KO a Spiritomb from about 60% earlier today so I was pretty impressed with that so that's our team that's our team I mean obviously you know the team because of the beautiful layout below that I've created and I'm not at all being big headed I'm just quite proud of myself so let's get into a battle as always this is a single session guys so it's probably only going to be one battle per episode but it will be five parts so don't worry we won't be cutting it too short so as with every battle uh, I do I am aware that you can't see the chat section in this uh, video if that's an issue let me know and I'll try to edit it into other layouts in the future uh, for now I just wanted to make sure that you were catching all of the action um, and not missing out on anything it, instantly I see the goal bat and that wants to be that wants knockoff. Also, the Whimsicott could possibly also be a choice tracker. Which could be uh, interesting if we bring Lycard in and it tricks its other choice item onto itself. But anyway, first thing with everybody is to wish our opponent luck and hope they have fun. Good luck and have fun. So we've got Sidebito, Drapion, Whimsicott, Golbat. Delphox and Tangrowth. So obviously the defensive call there is Golbat and Tangrowth. I'm expecting that Delphox will either be Sash or Specs. Drapion might be Assault Vest. Side Toad, I'm not quite sure what Side of Toad likes to run. Maybe Life Orb? Or... Choice Band? Maybe? I'm not sure. So we're going to open with Shadow Cat, I think. Shadow Cat, the Life Orb. So we've got Delphox to open, which is not the greatest, to be honest. Now we can't go for the Psychic move because we are Life Orb, which kind of makes me want to bring in Houndoom. Kind of want to bring in Houndoom to take the Fire move. So that's the only thing I can see it going for, unless it's got Focus Blast, which will be really, really unfortunate. I'm going to switch it to Henry now, expecting a fire attack, because that way we can get the flash fire and absorb it, and then we can hit this thing back with a maybe a Sucker Punch next to it, or he just switch, he switches into Drapion. Very interesting, very interesting. Now, this thing usually removes the Earthquake, as I recall. So, that kind of makes me want to bring in, see the trouble is, Fatback can't really do anything to it because it can't, we can't toxic it because it's poison type. Uh, we could super fang it, I mean I don't think, it can't hit us with much. I think Golbat is my best play at this point so I'm going to switch to Golbat. Expecting the earthquake. Whirlwind! Very interesting. So it brings out Hitman Chan. Trouble is, Hitman Chan doesn't really do much to this thing, I don't think. I'm not sure about your defense. I think you've got pretty good defense, actually. Um, question is, what do you want to do to Hitman Chan? The trouble is, Hitman Chan's not the bulkiest of Pokemon in the physical defense in the physical defense areas. Part of me wants to just drain punch and part of me just wants to go back into Fat Bat again. I'm going to play it safe, go back into Fat Bat, see what this thing wants to do. Oh, he switches out. Whimsicott's here now. Okay, so obviously he's going to want a trick, isn't he? He's going to want a trick now because he knows we've got the Eevee so I'm going to switch to Shadow Cat. So that you could trick at wow the switches on this game the switches hmm now the trouble here is he's gonna put down the stealth rocks but what do I want to do about that
The main issue I've got is if I switch back into Fat Bat, we can get rid of the rocks, but then he can get a potential Ice Beam on us. Or Ice Punch. I'm not sure Sajato gets Ice Punch, to be quite honest. But, it seems like the sort of Pokemon that will get it. There is a potential for a nice type of attack onto Golbat. And I really don't want to be dealing with that, to be honest. Part of me just wants to go for a knockoff. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for a knockoff. See what happens. He's gonna put down rocks this turn. We get rid of leftovers, so that's nice. There are the stealth rocks. Now I kind of think he wants to scold me. I mean, I could switch into Quagsire. Because the rocks aren't going to do too much to us. Hmm. Hmm. Part of me wants to go into Golbat and get rid of the rocks. But another part wants to go into Quagsire to play it safe. But then Quagsire can't really do anything. And if I leave if I leave Lipard in this turn, it's just gonna get KO'd. When I mean, we're choice locked into knockoff now. And it's not gonna do it near anywhere as near as much damage as it did. It did 30% damage last turn. And that was with knocking the item off. Which means this turn it's only gonna do about 20%. I'm gonna switch it to fat bat. Because like I say, Lipard can't do anything to this thing, and it just feels like a waste if I leave it in. There's the earthquake. So now I can just go for a defog, possibly. Well, Parliament wants to roost, actually. No, I'm just going to go for the defog. Well, that rock slide, though. We can just roost the damage off. And then we can get a toxic next turn. Roost the damage off this turn, then go for the toxic. See, his goal bat is also a bit of a problem. Because unless I can get a knockoff onto it, I don't really have much for it. Delphox! Hello, Delphox. Now, the question is, what are you going to do? I suspect you're going to go for a psychic type move. Which makes me want to go back into Lipard. But then there's the potential of a fire type attack, which makes me want to switch into Hemdoom. And then, of course, there's the potential of Focus Blast as well. And neither Hemdoom nor Lipard wants to be taking that. Hmm. This is a problem. I think Hemdoom is my best play. So I'm going to switch it to DOS. And hopefully go... Ooh. 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 This is interesting. Now, I'm not sure what this Whimsical wants to do. I mean, it could lead C. It could... Could, uh, trick. I'm not quite sure what else Whimsical to do. I mean, some of them are on Stun Spore. Which would suck, to be honest. I'm just going to go for a Flamethrower, I guess. I mean, if I'm lucky, I might be able to take this in there. Moonblast! We don't... It. Oh, he gets a special attack drop as well, but we still managed to KO it. Thanks to the life orb. I think if we hadn't have had the life orb, we wouldn't have taken that down. Now he's probably gonna bring in Drapion or Sizbitoad now. But that's fine because I can actually go for the destiny button, because I am faster than both. Unless one of them is scarf. Okay, so there's Drapion. Parmin wants to go for a D-Bond. Because I know this thing's going to Earthquake. And to be quite honest, I don't have anything else to take it down. I'm going to go for a Destiny Bond. Whirlwind! Okay. Okay. 
probably should have just gone for the flame door. Honestly, I don't see the point. I mean, obviously the whirlwind makes sense with the stealth rocks. But he doesn't have the stealth rocks up. And I know this thing has earthquake. So I'm going to switch it to Fat Bat again, because Fat Bat's the best thing for this drapium. I mean, at the very least, we could bring down its health with the Super Fang. Okay, so he brings in his own goal by now. Now the mind games begin. I kind of want to bring a Shadow Cat and go for a knockoff. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, he stays in. So we're going to go for a knockoff now. So his guard back can tall, that's, in, that's, that's information, that's information. We get rid of this EV like that is awesome. Brings out our own goal bat. Um, it's not really much we can do to this thing to be honest. We could switch into Mega Glalie and go for the double edge. Because that's going to take down almost anything on his team. I mean, Tangrowth might be able to take one, as might Seismitoad, as may Dra Drapion. Delphox also may just about it, but I don't think Golbite can take one ever, it's lost the Eevee load. And I'm not sure what this thing wants to do. It's not going to Toxic because Golbite's out. I was kind of confident to switch into Mega Glalie, so that's what I'm going to do. Let's switch it to Mega Glalie and go for the double edge. Sludge Bomb! Interesting. Very, very interesting. We're going to Mega Evolve, go for double edge. I mean, it's unfortunate that we had to take that much damage straight off the bat. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, we do have maximum speed. We are as fast as a Mega Glalie can be. Base 100 speed with max investment, that's not to be sniffed at. Not in RU. Possibly in OU, maybe. I think Delphox might outspeed us though. 44%, yeah, that's unfortunate. We can switch into Houndoom though. And then get a sucker punch up on this thing. Yeah, there's the overheat, we got the flash power boost. He's probably gonna switch. Basically we wanna just go for a straight up. Hmm, there is a possibility. I don't see him being having much to take us on though. I'm just gonna go for a dark force, I think. Yeah, he just switches. We go for a dark force, yeah, that's 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 gonna just gonna take down size of the this turn. Protect. Fair enough. But not really gonna get you, my buddy, I'm afraid. Okay, so there's Drapion. Kinda just wanna go for a flamethrower. Because this thing's probably just gonna go for a whirlwind. So let's go for a flash fire flamethrower while we can. Brings it down to 16%, not even bad. Toxic spikes, okay. We can finish this thing off this turn. And then we can bring in Golbat afterwards to get rid of these spikes. Dusk is doing work. Dusk is doing work. Uh, Parliament wants to go for a sucker punch then. Yeah, sucker punch. It was the safest option. That's two KOs for Dusk though, not bad. Now we can bring in Golbat and get rid of these poison spikes. Ah, Drapion, that's a problem because we can't actually. Uh, can't actually kill this thing with gold, but I mean, hopefully, he'll whirlwind us into Mega Glalie or even Hitman Chan. To be honest, even Lipard would be good at this at this point. Oh, the knockoff! Not bad. 
Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. So what are you going to do now, buddy? I'm just going to roost to see what you do. Oh, the taunt. Not even bad. Not even bad. Hmm. Hmm. This is interesting. This is interesting. I mean, he could go for another knockoff. He might expect me to switch, thinking I can't do anything. And I don't really want to play into his hands like that. He might go for another knockoff. You've got black switch, haven't you? Let's go for a super fine. Get some help off him. Let's play the taunt away. Let's try and stall off this taunt. Brings out his own goal bat. Not bad. Problem here is he's probably faster. I'm gonna try and go for it. Nah, he's faster. Hmm. So I don't really want to bring anything in on onto the toxic spikes. Okay, fair enough. Alright, I'm just gonna go for uh, ice shard at this point. So there's no reason not to. Yeah, so we could take this thing down next turn, maybe. Maybe. Got 17 percent of his health. Got 13 percent now. Covering the right shot, unless it's got protect. No, it goes down. But we are going to lose Glady at this point, which is unfortunate. I'm going to bring back Fat Bat. He's probably going to bring his own back. No, he brings back Tangrove. So let's go for a deep get rid of these poison spikes. Hidden power, whatever that was. Oh, he forfeits. So we actually win that battle. So that's not bad at all, but I'm going to leave that episode at that, because as I said, one episode per video, uh, but five, five battles per session, so not bad at all. So, thank you for joining me in my Pokemon, I hope you have enjoyed this first battle of our latest RU session. Uh, I'm quite enjoying this team, I am rather enjoying this team. So thank you very much for joining me, as always leave me a like to let me know you've enjoyed the episode, so I'd like to know that you're enjoying the things that I do do. As always drop me a comment in the comment section down below, as I said before, if you would rather that I leave the chat section from Showdown in the videos, let me know and I will endeavour to do that for you in the future. But until, but for now guys, that's it for this episode. Take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. Ta-ta!